agriculture supply chains around the world are less efficient than they could be, straddling farmers with costs that are very hard for them to sustain with the razor thin margins they have. Quibus, the match exchange is designed to enable price discovery between farmers, processors, and ultimately buyers to help bring more optimal results and outcomes into that supply chain. What are the elements of the match exchange? We must remember that they only two very important role players in food security or providing us something to eat. On the one hand, you have the farmer. He's the beginning point of all food security. All of it. That's right, all of it. And then on the other hand, you have the buyer or the end consumer uh, that might be represented by a processing plant or a, a feedlot or a, a retail company. And that's the beginning point of all cash flow. And all cash flow throws through the channel or supply chain to the farmer. And most of the inefficiencies lies between those two parties. Okay. Because so there's so many uh, companies participating in that. So the optimization goes awry because of the many companies operating in between and the holistic right. picture gets lost. How do you solve that though with the match exchange? We empower the final buyer with a decision on transport. So he can decide what transporter, what, what's the cost is, and we open all data to the final buyer to evaluate the data, what's the best for the final buyer, and thereby we're channeling the flow of cash to the farmer. But from the farmer side, we also provide him all the possible options to see what's on offer, and they can then negotiate directly with each other, but without doing the effort in getting the product from A to be. One of the benefits of the match exchange as well is, is helping a small farmer get visibility to opportunities that they otherwise would not see. They can be curating as small as one hectare and have visibility to places for their, to sell their product that perhaps much larger farmers would only normally see. Once a farmer appoints a broker, our technology allows access for the broker to the farmer and help him to do everything on the app and keep that relationship between the farmer and the broker to guide him through his process of marketing. For example, even in the most remote area in Africa, a broker might be one of the younger people in the community that's tech proficient in right. helping the farmer to onboard on the system, do the negotiation on his behalf, and then a match. And this person can only be tech proficient, but don't have to be a, a expert in marketing because the algorithms and the tech will guide the farmer to the most profitable market. Corbis, the match exchange is collecting an incredible amount of data as you're brokering transactions between buyers and farmers. How are you using that data to empower farmers to eliminate some of this asymmetry where farmers are just such price takers? But remember, the, it's a matrix of data that we are collecting. And within this matrix, things change, like for example, yield and transport rates, fuel, uh, interest rates, uh, etc. Or dynamic on all sides. Dynamic on all sides, and it constantly changes. But what the algorithms does is to collect that data and in time guide farmers right now where is your most profitable market. Might be not last year the same market, but this year you might be accessing a different market that's more profitable. And we match all parties that can service that supply chain. That's including the transporter, the financier, the guy that, that grade perhaps, or the storage facility, and it's that, that data describes to each party what will be the best for that party to participate in the supply chain eventually to optimize the, the process from farm to off-taker. There's a lot of focus today within governments around the world on how to ensure food security looking forward into the future amidst climate change and the environmental impacts of the agriculture industry and everything we're talking about with respect to supply chain. So what role can the match exchange play here at Quebus to help ensure food security? In Africa, as you perhaps know, is that farmers don't own the land. It's the governments that own the land. So how do you leverage the farm or help the farmer to get finance without being the title hold, yeah. holder of the That'd land? An asset, the land. Yeah. Exactly. So what we do as the match exchange, we focus on the final off-taker and to help the final off-taker with optimization and make the very important decisions. And they don't want to pay farmers and they also don't want to manage the process. So channeling the flow of cash from the buyer through the magic chains, that becomes leverageable. 
and that's why we can then finance the farmer. So the future, I think, is in any country to leverage on the cash flow rather to lean on the value of the land. And working with governments in, in Africa, for example, I think there's an important alliance that we can build with governments to help them having a farmer on their land being profitable.